So we're up on the mound right now. I'm getting ready for the bonfire. And this is perfect. I'll show you quickly how to process this down. And then I'll show you a demonstration on how to get a fire started using this, which you can find in any woodland forest, lying on the ground, just drying out, doing its thing. So just peel it off and it just goes super easy. It's, it's not on there that hard. You just put your nails under and pry it up. The fibers are what we're after. You see all these fibers? What you wanna do, get it in a ball, put your hands together, grip into it, and you're gonna start working your hands back and forth. And as you're doing that, you're gonna put pressure in and as you put pressure in and back and forth, you're gonna be grinding it down and all the dirt, all the debris, all the excess bark is gonna catch in the wind, kinda of like the wheat and the chaff saying. And the wind will take the chaff, in this case, the bark and nasty stuff out and you'll be left with this amazing dry fibrous wood. And this is what it's gonna look like. This is what you want to be left with. All of that fiber, that is just beautiful to be able to take sparks and ignite instantly. Here's my starter stack. That's all my tiny stuff to take the flame once my starter has caught flame. Once that is on, that'll catch fire, which then this pile will be added on. And it's a mix of small up through larger than thumb so that'll go on next and then after that i got that process down and those will be my bigger logs for burning having more burn time on when you're collecting wood you want it to be bone dry and when you're looking for it uh, if you're collecting after rain do not take stuff from the ground because it's going to be soaking up the water from the ground and it'll be saturated and it's no good for fire starting. What you want to do, if you're near pine trees, you can take the pine tree branches that are on the bottom that are still connected, because as the pine tree is growing, it'll block out the sun for everything underneath, killing all the under branches. And when it rains, they're dry, they're protected, and they stay bone dry. And they got the flammable, oils and sap inside that make them great for fire starting. So if you're around pine trees, start collecting them right off the tree trunk after a rainstorm, they will be perfect. If you don't got that and you gotta find stuff on the ground, then look for branches that are propped at angles, like, like that. Because if you get the branches, like I said, flat, no good. If they're at an angle, it's good. Because when it rains, the rain will actually drip down the branch to the ground so it won't have time to sit on the branch and soak all the way through the wood. So what you got is your striker. You got your ferro rod, just the magnesium. What you want is get right down your ferro rod down by the bird nest. Instead of taking your striker down, you're gonna pull the rod back. You go down, you're on the risk of putting your hand right into the nest and ruining the whole bundle. So you get the striker, about 45 degree angle, put some pressure, pull back, just like that. You grab some of your smallers and you want to hold it over the top. And then this you can even flip to get the fire coming up through. Hold the branches over top, wait until they catch a little bit, and lightly start setting them on. If you just chuck them on, you run the risk of puffing out your bird nest and just putting the whole thing out. Now, fire likes chaos, so you don't have to go throwing it on in a certain order. You can just kind of sprinkle around like that, and the flames will find all the little air pockets and come up through and climb the wood. And it'll actually thrive better when you do it like that, rather than if you were to just throw it on like that. Having 
trouble. But this is not having trouble, so we don't need to do that. So when you got stuff bigger than your thumb with, that's when your fire is established, and that's when you can start walking away to do other things. If you walk away before wood that size is lit, you run the risk of coming back in five minutes or less, and the whole thing just, it'll burn itself out because it burns through the material, and you'll have a fire.